Hey everybody, Rockin' Robbie Billups here for Pop Culture Philosophers, and it's time for Robbie Rants, and I'm gonna talk a little bit about that new Blade Runner trailer. All right guys, we had the new Blade Runner trailer hit 2049, right? So it's set like, what, 30 years, 20 years, 30 years, 40, 40 years, 30 years after the original Blade Runner, I'm a huge fan of Blade Runner. If you've, if you've ever listened to our podcast or anything, you know that it's probably one of my absolute favorite sci-fi movies of all time. I'm a huge fan of Philip K. Dick's work. I love Blade Runner and Ridley Scott, one of my favorite directors. So when I first heard the news that there was going to be a new Blade Runner movie starring, you know, Ryan Gosling, which is cool, and also Harrison Ford, I was kind of like, huh, huh, well, let's see. Well, the first trailer's out. And the trailer looks kind of neat, you know, it's just a little teaser, you don't really see much, right? Um, it's interesting some of the stuff you see in the trailer. Initially, I thought that he was in the big mega city that Blade Runner takes place in, but it's like the ruins of it, something bad has happened. Then I realized that it's actually probably a different city, because you still see that mega LA or whatever in that trailer. Um, I don't know, like the dialogue's there, what little bit we got. Uh, the music, the tone, the looks, cinematography, like the cinematography, like, oh my, it looks so good. It looks, it looks really, really cool. The only thing I want to know is, do we need another Blade Runner movie? Like, I am totally down with this world and doing more stories in this world. But do we need another movie with Harrison Ford? Because obviously if Harrison Ford's in it, it's really going to throw into question the whole is Decker a replicant or not? Which, in my opinion, he is. I, I just think that that's... I think it's a subtle point of the movie, and I like that the the ending is ambiguous, but will this ruin that that ambiguousness of the original film? I don't know. Like, well, we're going to have to watch and see. And, of course, nothing will ultimately ruin the original film because the original film is the original film and will stand on its own merits. Um, I'm down for another story in the world of Blade Runner, but the fact that Decker's there, I don't know. And one thing I thought about was, what if it's not Decker? Because if Decker's a replicant, we can presume that he has a very shortened lifespan and should be dead by 2049. Like, way dead, right? Like, maybe the end of Blade Runner was him and Sean Young's character going off to spend whatever tiny amount of remaining days they had. Like, that's what, at least what I took from it. But if he's in there now as an old man, and yes, replicants can age, and that's fine. But, like... If he's there as an old man, that throws all that into question. Maybe he lives longer. But what I started thinking about, and here's an interesting little theory. Um, what if he is a replicant of the original Decker replicant? Do you get what I'm saying? So, like, he is made to look as if he's aged these 30 years. And he's also got the memories of, of those 30 years. So, But he's not really that Decker from the first Blade Runner. I don't know. Maybe he's thrown in there either to help or to hurt Ryan Gosling's uh, quest or whatever journey that he's on. I don't know. That's just what I think. Me and John are going to go a little bit more in depth about do we even need another Blade Runner movie and a video coming out very, very soon. PCP Conversations. It's a brand new show coming very, very soon. Super excited to announce that. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Let me know down below what did you think of the trailer, the teaser trailer for Blade Runner 2049. Are you excited? Are you bummed out about it? Let me know down below. I really, really want to know and get the conversation going with you guys. Thank you for liking and sharing this video. And be sure to subscribe for all the cool videos that we do. And check us out at popculturephilosophers.com for podcasts, blogs, top five lists, and a whole lot more. I've been Rockin' Robbie Billups for PCP. Thanks for joining the Army. Catch you next time.